Hi everybody, this is Curtis from JustBuildStuff.com. Lately I've been making some name puzzles on my scroll saw, and I thought I'd make a video to show everybody how I make them. First, I start by making a pattern. Today, I'm going to use Microsoft Word to make the pattern. I've also used LibreOffice Writer to make patterns. Alright, after I've got Word opened, I start by opening a new blank document. Then I'm going to type in the name I want to cut. Today I'm typing in Blake. Now, I want this name puzzle to end up rather large, so I'm going to switch the page orientation to landscape. And I'm going to change the font to Cooper Black. It's a nice full bubbly font and it works nice for making name puzzles. I've seen lots of other scrollers use this font also. I want the puzzle big, so I'm setting the font size to 250 points. Now I want to make the letters touch, so I make sure the name is highlighted, and I right click on it, and I choose font. Normally this menu comes up on the font tab, but I want the advanced tab. Here I want to change my spacing to condensed, and I'm going to make it by 30 points. You'll have to experiment with changing this number to make the letters closer together. Now all my letters overlap a little bit, but I want to improve the pattern by making it just an outline. So I'm going back into the font menu, and this time I'm clicking text effects down at the bottom. In the text effects menu, I'm changing the text fill to no fill, and I'm changing the text outline to solid outline with a black color. I'm clicking OK, and voila, I've got a nice outline of a name. Now I wish there was some sort of magic menu option I could choose to get the puzzle bubbles to appear, but alas, I don't know how to do that. So I save the document and I print it out. Now as you can see, I'm going to use a pencil with an eraser to draw in all my puzzle connecting bumps. If you know of a faster, better way to do this, please let me know leave a comment down below. At this point, I like to scan or photocopy the pattern so that I have a copy of what I've drawn in case I mess up later. With my completed pattern, I need to make it stick to a piece of wood. Say I'm using a scrap of maple, and I'm going to attach it with some spray adhesive. I spray the paper, and then I let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes and let the adhesive dry so it's kind of tacky. I find that letting the glue dry to that tacky state makes the pattern easier to remove later when I'm done. I then press the pattern onto my scrap of wood and I'm ready to start cutting on the scroll saw. Now I usually recommend drilling out the centers of all the letters, you know like in the A and the B's first and then cutting those out so that you have a lot of wood to leverage. This time I forgot to do that but luckily my pieces were big enough that I could come back and do it later relatively safely. After the pieces are finished up, all there is to do is to test fit them and spend a bunch of time sanding them. I did not put any finishes on these puzzles I made this year, but if you do, just make sure it's a child safe finish. There you have it. That's how I make these scroll saw name puzzles. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. Have a good day.